Alright everyone, welcome back to a new GTA Online video. Today we're going to cover all the removed vehicles from GTA Online that came with the new Mercenary update. It seems like they removed about 200 cars. Let's just pull up one of my favorite websites, Legendary Motorsport. Go to Two Door. You know, let's sort by price, go down to the cheap ones. You know, we still have these, but man, we're already at the Turismo R. I got rid of most of the OG cars, only the Banshees left. No Infernus, no Comet, no Dubachi stuff. This is quite depressing if I'm being honest, because there's a lot of good cars that I I don't have yet. These ones too, a few muscle cars, a few trucks. Oh man, it's all gone. Anyway, we're just gonna go through a list. So strap yourselves in, here we go. For the two doors under Southern San Andreas Super Autos, the Peyote Gasser, Zion Classic, Nebula Turbo, Issy Sport, Vamos. I really like that one, that's a shame. Futo, the Ruiner, I just did a, like, I just did a best car challenge with that car. Romero, Prairie, the Michelli GT, Fagoloa, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Fagola, Fagoloa, Fagoloa, who knows. Hermes, Retinue, Tornado Rat Rod, the Massacre and Jester race car, very sad to see that. The Pagal, Blade, Picador, F620, not too sad to see that go. Fusilod, Penumbra, that's a classic, very sad. Sentinel, the Rat Loader, Schwarzer, Zion Cabrio, regular Zion, the Gauntlet, and the Vigoro, and the Issy. Some other ones, we got the Seminole Frontier, Oh man, that's cool, that was like a Jeep truck, I didn't get to customize one of those. Dynasty, the Tulip, the BJXL, the FQ2, the Serrano, the Habanero, the Chebrick, which is the cardboard car, I just used that in the Manhunt, thank god I bought that. The Strider, the Frankenstrange, Jackal, Oracle XS, Shafter, keeping the V12 it looks like, so that's good. The Surge, Warner, Regina, Regina, Regina maybe? Primo, Buffalo, Buffalo S, Tailgater, Asia, the Ingot, Intruder, Minivan, Premier, Radius, Stanier, Stratum, Washington, Asterope, Paradise, Fugitive, and the Delatante. That's it for the two-door stuff. Whole lot of stuff gone. That's just from the Southern Super Autos website. Onto the off-roads, we got the Helion. Damn, that was one of my favorites. The Riata, the Sebadol. Oh, the, oh my God. They removed the Seminole. This is the beginning of a new age. How, how is this allowed? The Kalahari, the Rebel Clean. That's the one I did in one of the off-road Top Gear Top Challenge things. The Sanking SWB, the Bodhi, the Dune Buggy, the regular Rebel, so you can't get either anymore. The Injection, the Bison, that's all the off-road ones gone. Luxury, they got the Landstalker XL, the Patriot, Contender, Landstalker, Gresley, Baller, Cavalcade, second gen and first gen, the Rakoto, Felon GT, regular Felon, and the Or. Motorcycles, they took the Wolfsbane, Esky, Avarice, Zombie Bobber, Damon, Ratbike, Bagger, Fagia Mod, Fagia Sport, Cliffhanger, Enduro, Nemesis, Hakucho. Does that mean the Hakucho Drag? I still didn't have one of those. Innovation, Sovereign, Hot Rod Blazer, Batty 801 RR. That was like the best bike ever. Fuck. Ruffian, Vader, Blazer, PCJ600, Sanchez, the regular Fagio, the Akuma, Double T, and the Hexer. Oh, but we're not done there. Moving on to Legendary Motorsport. For the two doors, they took the Tigon, the Imorgan, the Zeruso, the Locust, the Neo, the Paragon R, the S80RR, the Deviant, the Stafford, the Swinger, Comet SR, the Hustler, the 190Z, still didn't have that one, GT5. I almost think I didn't have that one. The Viscerous didn't have that. So many gone. Oh my god. The Sylvestra, the SC1, Cyclone, Rapid GT Classic, the XA21. Why would they remove that? The Torero? The Torero, not the XO, so that's good. The Ruston, the GP1, Raptor, the Lynx, the ETR1, the Tyrus, RE70, 770, 811. Definitely lots of older cars. The Rellier, Brawler, Cockhead, Blackfin, Sterling GT, Furor GT, the J Jester, the Alpha, Z-Type, Stinger GT, regular Stinger, JV700, the Cheetah, the Entity XF, oh my god, I'm heartbroken, Cognoscenti Cabrio, the Cockette, the Feltzer, the Infernus, 9F, Cabrio and regular, regular Comet, the Vaca, the Bullet, the Carbonizer, the Voltic, Rapid GT Cabrio and regular, and the Serrano, that's it for two doors on Legendary Motorsport. Onto the four doors, they got the Stafford, Revolter, Raiden, XLS, Roosevelt, Valor, and the Roosevelt Regular, Cognoscenti 55 both versions, Cognoscenti Regular both versions, Baller LWB and the Shafter LWB both versions, 
sections of those cars and the exemplar and the super diamond the bikes they only removed the thrust all right warstock cash and carry they removed the lifeguard granger lifeguard blazer and the merryweather mesa not too much there so that's all right I'm not sure if they removed anything from elitist travel i don't check that website too often same with doc tees so i'm not too interested in that one and from Benny's they removed the Comet so you can't get the classic Comet the Comet the Comet custom or something Comet retro custom and that is unbelievably sad honestly I have no idea why Rockstar did this unless they're gonna return it for like GTA plus members or something I really don't see like Rockstar filling up those gaps with anything else GTA 6 is kind of right around the corner I remember I used to play Destiny and they removed a lot of the old missions and stuff when making room for new content but with this day one of the new mercenaries update I don't see what new content that can replace it it seems like it's all here maybe it was too big it was only a one just under two gigabyte update for PC so I really don't see the point of removing all these cars it takes away a lot of budget options for lots of people, and some people like driving the, the slower, shittier cars. I do, it's kind of fun. Honestly, it doesn't make any sense to me, especially when they're just giving us like new shitty cars like, like the new Itali GTO Stinger TT. It's HSW, so PC only gets like half of the good car. We still don't have HSW stuff or any like new gen stuff. They're taking away our cars. It's just not too fun being a PC player right now, especially with shitty anti-cheat, so I can't even use public lobbies. But that won't matter with the new removed cars at all. I have a feeling they'll be coming back weekly with GTA Plus at a discount maybe. But honestly, it's just kind of depressing right now. But Rockstar did it. You can still buy them from the LS Car Meet. That might only be on next gen. I've never actually used it before, so I'm not too sure how that works. But this is extremely sad news. Let me know which what which cars you're sad to see go. Uh, which cars you thought could have gone instead of some other ones, maybe. Honestly, I'm just very confused why they did this. Not too happy with it. This is gonna suck for me too because I like to use a lot of smaller, slower cars from Manhunt episodes and Best Car Challenge episodes. So I'm very sad. Hopefully Rockstar can redeem himself. Maybe there will be a huge content update before GTA 6 comes out that requires all these cars to be gone. But until then, I'm not really sure what to do. I'll just kind of deal with it, I guess. Yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed or a dislike if you didn't. Let me know your thoughts on all the missing cars. I like to hear them. Let me know if you, if you think Rockstar plans to do anything or if we're just out a bunch of cars now. But that's about it. I'll see you all in the next one.